Welcome guys. So in our last video, we have seen how to write our customized XPath and CSS, correct? So one last topic before we start our end to end discussion. Uh, one last thing is regular expression. Okay. So first let me go back to my notepad. So it will be easy for you to understand. Okay. So first why we need regular expression. Okay. Uh, sometimes we, uh, sometimes the value of, a, of an attribute may keep on changing okay so we have seen in our last couple of videos that the class name is like alphanumeric value and once we refresh the particular web page it will keep on changing okay so uh, let's take an example uh, suppose we have a class name which is uh, like this uh, alphanumeric value and once you uh, refresh that particular page web page uh, you might get that class name like this okay which is not uh, constant right so in this scenario how you will automate this particular class let's assume that uh, you don't have any other attribute okay uh, we have only class class attribute and value and we don't have any other attribute and which is not constant which is keep on changing correct so in this scenario how we will automate this particular uh, attribute uh, field right so now if uh, if you want to write x part of css how do you write so basically here we are using regular expression concept to handle this type of scenario okay so you have to identify which one is constant constant okay so after that you may get a value like this as well username suppose class name is username one two three okay so after uh, refreshing that particular page you can see the value is like this something like this that means here which one is constant here which one is constant here in this two part uh, is constant but this one is not constant which is keep on changing here also this username is constant but this numeric value is not constant which is keep on changing correct so basically here we are going to use our regular expression concept okay so by uh, using constant and subtext subtext that means this is the subtext of this whole text okay so subtext and constant of your actual attribute value we can form our xpath and css using regular expression correct so now let's see what are the rules for uh, for regular expression okay so for xpath there is a one rule and for css there is a another rule okay so let's see first uh, what is the rule for xpath regular expression okay so regular expression xpath okay so for xpath the rule is slash slash tag name as i mentioned earlier tag name is optional uh, slash slash tag name contain and after that just open your bracket at the rate attribute comma inverted comma just put your value here right that's it this is your sorry this is your rule for regular expression x path okay so this is the rule that means see suppose if uh, class name is this here okay instead of type just put this okay and otherwise we don't have any other attribute okay so here we can see tag name is input class name a uh, class name is uh, alpha numeric value which is not constant correct so how do you write a x path for this that means slash slash what is the tag name tag name is input okay so after that open bracket contains open bracket at the what is our attribute attribute is class correct see but this is only just for example purpose okay so in your uh, like real time it might 
some it you might you might get something else something uh, some another value some another attribute you might get okay this is only for expression only for example purpose when you don't have any other attribute and when you have only one attribute which is keep on changing okay see other other places also you can use this expression but like we can use our another method for there also okay correct uh so class and uh comma what is the value value here we can take only username we will not take this numeric value because this username is constant okay just put constant or uh, close bracket close bracket okay so now what is tag name tag name as we know input is the tag name attribute is this is one attribute and the value of the attribute okay so what is con constant okay so before that let me tell you one thing this is our another rule for expert correct so here we have we have written at uh, at the rate attribute equal to value that means when you when you mention equal to that means the value should be the same whatever developer has mentioned in the code right but here when you mention contains that means it will contain that particular subtext of the whole text okay so in value we should not mention the whole uh, text okay or whole value we can use the subtext of the value understood so this is how we have to mention our expert so now let's see for css okay uh, and make sure you are you write all those methods whatever i'm i'm giving i'm mentioning here because uh, from now we are not going to rely on any uh, browser dev tool we will write our own expert on css correct so let's see for uh, css what is the rule for css regular expression okay so for css regular expression is you don't need to give a slash slash instead of that you can give tag name and open bracket attribute star and equal to value correct value okay this much this is the rule for css so now what we need to write so what is the tag name tag name is input and attribute is class and value we can give username right so it will search the whole page where uh, input tag is present after that it will start searching the class attribute after that username so this is how we need to write a regular expression xpath and regular expression css right so in my next video we'll try to implement this regular expression and whatever will uh, like method we have learned till now we'll try to implement in our script okay so thank you so much and uh, please try to you know uh, make a habit to write your own expert and css okay so and one more thing if you would have any queries and any issues with videos or selenium please uh, email me at pratikumarnag at the red gmail.com okay so thank you thank you so much see you in my next video